A driver took police on a chase through busy West Houston neighborhoods, reaching speeds of 80 miles an hour. Even with flat tires, that driver just kept on going. At one point, officers fired shots at that speeding truck. Local 2's Joel Eisenbaum joins us live. Now, Joel, this was a pretty wild one. Oh, this was a wild one. It had everything speeding, shooting, crashing. That last part happening right across the street here at Gessner and Tanner, Northwest Harris County. There's a utility pole over there, worse for wear, but nobody hurt. A local two viewer caught the tail end of it on his cell phone. It was a crazy, meandering, dangerous police pursuit on Houston's northwest side Friday morning. Man, he came flying, I mean, literally in the air. And when he came down, he like jumped over, just clipped beside of me. Minutes before that side swipe, police thought they had the suspects, a man and woman, cornered in Bunker Hill Village when the wanted duo's F-150 slid off the road. They were immediately in fear that the officers behind the suspect's truck were going to be hit. Two officers, one HPD, one from Memorial Village's PD, opened fire on that truck. But somehow the suspects managed to get away uninjured, and the chase was back on. Sparks were flying, his tire was blown out. I mean, it was scary. 11 miles from where it started on Westheimer, it all came to a violent end. At Gessner and Tanner in northwest Harris County, the F-150 crashed into a utility pole, and police say the male suspect tried his luck on foot but didn't get far. Young lady, why were you running? The answer to that question may be in these mysterious suitcases spilled out on the road. Police say they're filled with stolen booty. Still not clear exactly what's in those suitcases. Two people in custody tonight. I said no one was hurt. In fact, one police officer received a minor injury to his hand. They're in the process of identifying and charging these suspects tonight. We're live on the northwest side. I'm Joel Eisenbaum, KPRC Local 2.